video is about naming alkenes. If you haven't yet watched the previous video on how to name alkanes, I strongly recommend that you do that first. All alkenes will end with the suffix ene, which tells us that we've got a double bond between two carbon atoms. For that reason, it means the first molecule that I can draw is the one with two carbons, because you can't have a double bond between two carbons if you've only got one carbon. So there's this one with two carbons, the next one with three carbons, but it doesn't matter if I draw the double bond on the left side or the right side, because they kind of look the same if you flip them over. And then this one with four carbons. Now I have a choice as to where to put the double bond here. I can either put it on the side or I can put it in the middle. So I'm going to draw those two out separately because they're kind of different to each other. If I flip them over, they aren't the same anymore. One thing to be aware of when you are drawing alkenes is not to just draw all the hydrogens all the way around because each carbon can only have four bonds. So double check that there's only four sticks going out from each carbon. Let's get naming these. So um, all of them are going to end in ENE -E because they are all alkenes. So let's chuck that down first. The second thing we're going to do is look at the number of carbons. This first one has got two carbons, so that means that if I look back to my monkey's eat, two carbons means it must be eth, so this becomes ethene. The next one has one, two, three carbons, so that means that it's got the prefix prope. Monkeys eat peanut. Prope, ene, is the name for this compound. The bottom two both have four carbons in them. So that means they're definitely going to use the prefix bute. Monkeys eat peanut butter. So butene. Now the way that we differentiate between the two is that we count the number of carbons that the functional group is attached to. So basically I want to know where does the double bond start? So I'm going to number my carbons closest to the double bond. So if I go carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what you can see is that the double bond starts on carbon number 1 in the example on the left. So we call it but1ene. The one on the right it doesn't matter which side you start numbering from because either way the double bond will begin on carbon number 2. So we call this one but2ene. That's all the alkene naming that you need. Only one left to do now which is the alcohols which is going to be in the next video.